my name is Michaela. I want to welcome you to the Minnesota Zoo and welcome you to a really special, important week that we are celebrating here at the Minnesota Zoo. It is Sea Otter Awareness Week, and so we want to talk to you guys this week a little bit about our otters. And so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about some of their adaptations. So here at the Minnesota Zoo, we have three uh, northern sea otters. Their names are Capers, Jasper, and Rocky. And sea otters in general have a lot of really cool features or what we like to call adaptations. Probably the most important adaptation that sea otters have is actually their fur. Their fur is actually the thickest of any mammal. It's very, very thick. They can actually have about a million hairs in just one small square inch on their body. To give you guys a kind of a comparison as to how big of a deal that is, humans on average have about 100,000 to 150,000 hairs on their entire head. Whereas I said before, sea otters only have uh, about a million hairs in just one square inch. So their fur is really, really thick. And that's actually really important because by having that thick fur, that makes up for their lack of blubber. So they don't have any blubber like other marine mammals, such as dolphins or whales. So that fur is really what insulates them from the cold water. So they do live in kind of a cold water environment. They're very aquatic. They can actually spend their entire lives in the water or the ocean. These sea otters are able to eat, sleep, breed, and groom all in the ocean, so they actually don't even have to come out onto land if they weren't able to or didn't want to. So when a sea otter grooms, what they do is they actually blow air into their fur, and what that does is it helps kind of create a layer um, so that the water doesn't actually make contact with their skin and that's what insulates them and keeps them really, really warm. So that fur is very, very important. Uh, if you're here at the Minnesota Zoo walking by our otter exhibit, nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna see at least one of our otters grooming. They spend a huge part of their day just simply maintaining and grooming that fur to make sure that it stays in excellent condition. Now, another great adaptation that sea otters have is actually their metabolism. They have a really high metabolism, one that I'm sure all of us would love that we have the same kind of metabolism. They eat a lot of food in a day, and that's because their body processes that food very, very quickly. These guys eat about 10 to 15% of their entire body weight. They actually weigh about 50 to 60 pounds uh, each, and so they're pretty, pretty big, um, and they eat a lot of food. Some of the food that we feed them uh, is a nice little variety of seafood, things like shrimp, clam, uh, two types of fish called pollock and capelin, uh, and they also eat a little bit of squid as well. So out in the wild, sea otters have actually been known to eat over a hundred different types of prey or food items. Um, and here at the Minnesota Zoo, we like to kind of mix that up. We give them whole crab, we give them little crab legs, we also give them mussels and clams. And so things like that just kind of help keep that metabolism going. And like I said, they eat a lot, but they also process that food very, very quickly. So they eat about six to seven times a day. We feed them first thing in the morning, and very last thing at the end of the day. Now another great adaptation that sea otters have is they have a very unique ability to use tools. So if you ever have the chance to see sea otters out in the wild, you might see a sea otter carrying around a tool such as a rock or a stick or something like that. And the way that they use these tools is very unique. They're one of the few animal species that make use of tools. And what a sea otter will do is they might use that rock or tool as kind of a little way to crush open the shell of a food item. So for example, like a crab or a mussel that they need to get to the soft meat that's inside. They'll kind of tap that rock against the shell of that food item to be able to get to that food. They also might use that tool as kind of a, an, a, a device to be able to get to something that might be stuck under something or stuck in a crevice. They're very, very clever animals. Uh, they've done a lot of redecorating with some tools here in our exhibit as well. So that's why you can see some of the scratches on our plexi, but again, they're very clever, very intelligent animals, and very good at using different types of tools to manipulate their food items as well as their environment. So those are some fast facts or really cool adaptations about our sea otters that I wanted to share with you today. And again, just wanna thank you guys always for visiting the Minnesota Zoo, and especially here on Sea Otter Awareness Week. Take care, bye-bye.